Everybody, welcome to the Grim So Taker. Well, not show, but Grim So Taker report. Buddy Grim here, coming you live from my living room. I need a second, guys. Um, sorry, I had to turn the TV off. Um, yeah, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I have some news for you. I would report on that stupid Marvel, all new Marvel bullcrap that don't deserve any more press. Don't deserve any press at all other than this bullcrap, but uh, DC Entertainment fans are not strangers to the Ultimate Universe, where anything can and does happen. But Justice League, Gods and Monsters will divide the first, will dive for, head first into the parallel world unlike any other. The reality is set forth, the coming director to video animated film is dark. With Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman vastly different from the ones similar to fans. Batman is not Bruce Wayne, but instead of Vampiric Carrick Longstorm, but are known to DC fans as Man Bat. Wonder Woman ties into the gods rather than the Greek phenomenon, Phenom. And Superman is the son of General Zod. The Warner Brothers DC Entertainment film makes its debut July 28th. However, fans have a chance to get a glimpse into the non-new World Viva 3 animated shorts on Machinima. The first of which debuts today showcase different relationship this world Batman and Harley Quinn share. Ahead of new reality debut CBR, News spoke with exciting producer Bruce Tim about how the Chronicles set up characters for this big story that's <clears throat> going on with Bruce Wayne, Princess Diana, and Kyle, you know, Superman. And this ultimate reality that, and taking advantage of working with the webisodes, short format to shockwave viewers in a weird way, it opens up us up for, and automatically puts us Aside the box, all the rules that we know about, how many normal tell regular series of any regular show in 22 minute length, a superfluous, <coughs> excuse me, it's completely irrelevant, Tim of Total CBR, of telling stories in seven minute formats. We have to make new rules. It's been feeling freeing. This web series introduces new to the us uh, to the new takes on Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman for the first time. The episodes are pretty short, so what aspects of these characters did you try to convert? Basically, it's gonna be good versus bad, but the bad not being the people that we think. The good not being the people we think. Actually, the bad guys are the good guys here, guys. I mean, it's not we hadn't seen from DC before. You know, I mean, DC's made the Injustice League and all of that. If you know what I mean. If you don't, then there's plenty of cartoons that'll show it. But, yeah. The Injustice League and whatnot, they've made those. So, there's nothing we hadn't seen before. Like I said, but I mean, this is a change up when Marvel's making all new, all bad. Um, DC's trying to make something really, really cool. So, why is it people are now preferring that? Are, I'm pretty sure a lot, a bunch of people probably went to DC from Marvel because Marvel's screwing up with this all new universe of theirs. But I mean, if you're a Batman fan and but you like Marvel, but you like Batman. I mean, this would be a change-up for you people like that. Me, I'm a, I'm not a big Batman fan, but right now I'd rather read a Batman comic book than uh, the new uh, unexciting, boring Secret War. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, Bad guys, the Justice League's bad guys, the Dark League is what it's called, Dark Justice League. What do you think about Man Bat taking the position of uh, Batman? Um, the son of, Z of Zod taking the place of Superman. 
and somebody who's more of the gods than Wonder Woman. I, I didn't understand that. I mean, I mean, they'd been cool if they would have made it um, one of Wonder Woman's lesser known characters or Cersei herself. I mean, that would have been a big change. I mean, people would have been surprised about that. Me, not so much with this Wonder Woman gig thing. I'm not surprised. But it'd been cool if it was Cersei. Now they they could have done that. Now for Harley Quinn being a good guy, um, no, I mean she does have her own comic book. It's possible. I wonder what you guys think in the link below. I mean, what do you think about the bad guys being good guys and the good guys being bad guys, but not the people you think? I'd like to know about that. You know, what do you guys think about that? But um, yeah. With that said, guys, I'm no longer going to talk anything about Marvel unless something like a new movie pops up or something like that. I'm I'm not even going to touch on the new Marvel bullcrap because it's just that bullcrap. It doesn't need any more press. It doesn't need press. It needs to go down in popularity. So I'm not going to talk about it anymore. So good luck. Good night. God bless you.